Hey guys, welcome back to my series, The American Sports Landscape. We are going to fly through Idaho today, and uh, it'll take several flights to get through Idaho. University of Idaho is quite a ways out of the way. So we're going to start off where we left off last episode in Logan, Utah, fly up to Pocatello, Idaho. It's not a super long flight, and we will do it in live weather. So it obviously looks quite cold and overcast in Logan to start off here. Be in a Cessna 172S. And we'll try my first ILS landing of this series. Looks like there's not too much wind to speak of in Logan. We'll see what it's like up in Pocatello. So we're up over Cache Valley trying to gain some altitude, enough to get out of the valley. See Logan back behind us there. So we're heading to Pocatello, that is the home of Idaho State University. My wife graduated from Idaho State. And I did from Utah State, so back to back we got Utah State and Idaho State in our series. Pretty gloomy day here. So it looks like we're up at a cruising altitude of 9,900 for this flight. Get a few different, I don't know, cutscenes of this short trip from Logan to Pocatello. Good to see the sun there for a little bit. So once we get to Pocatello and land, we'll change the weather um, back to clear skies and regular so we can see the buildings we're trying to look for. But for this particular flight, I thought it would be fun to do some live weather and see what we got. All right, we are descending into Pocatello Regional Airport now. We've actually flown over the top of it. We're gonna go up and make a circle and come back towards it. Cessna Lima, one eight, you are one five mile, northeast 
So Pocatello Regional Airport is in a valley, little valley to the west of Pocatello. So we'll have to go over a little hill to get to Pocatello. So the wind is coming from 188 degrees at 27 knots, which is quite a bit of wind, and I am not very good at landing with the wind. In fact, I very rarely have tried it, so this could be this could be a little bit crazy. So the wind's going to be blowing. Uh, kind of at us and from left to right as we come in to Pocatello yeah, I need a lot of practice landing with the wind I mean Doing this ILS approach by itself was new for me, at least with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I've done them in previous flight simulator versions, but all the airplanes have different uh, instruments and stuff that you've got to get used to, and I'm not really used to any of them yet. So there you can see the runway in sight. Trying to come in, trying to stay off to the left of it just a little bit to try to compensate for the wind. And I know about crabbing and all of that, but I'm not very good at it. I don't know how to do it. I used my rudder a little bit here to try to keep my nose pointed in the right direction, but I just need a lot of practice, to be honest. So if you're in a plane with me and I'm doing this right before the landing, you're not very confident in my skills, and I wouldn't be either. So wind blowing from left to right at 27 knots. And it's kind of kind of a headwind too, but left to right headwind, so it's not a straight crosswind. But we're coming in, and uh, this is a little bit of an adventure here. So hang on. <laughs> I guess it could have been worse, but right here the wind is just starting to push me across the runway. And then we do have a nice little bounce. So I guess it could have been worse, but it certainly wasn't textbook or even close to textbook, but we got it down. All right, so we changed the weather, take off again, headed over the top of the mountain there to our right, and we are looking at Pocatello, Idaho in much better weather and some green grass clear skies, optimal conditions to look for Idaho State University's football and basketball venue, which is uh, the same building. Pocatello is an interesting town, kind of, it's kind of weird how they built it on this hillside. And it's just, it's not like I don't know, a lot of cities are built in a little valley. This is just kind of on the slopes of this hill. I guess there's a little ravine type thing that runs through the city, but... I've always thought Pocatello was a weird layout for a city. Weird spot, kind of. 
So, all right, the Idaho State Bengals from the Big Sky Conference. They play football and basketball, both major sports. My wife got her master's degree from Idaho State. All right, Holt Arena is the football and basketball venue. It's a dome type arena. Obviously in this map it is flattened down again because Flight Simulator didn't know how to auto-gen a dome I guess. Or at least I mean I guess it's not like it's not like a round dome like the Huntsman Center was in in Salt Lake City. It's kind of like the rectangle and then the roof is like a semicircle roof so it just doesn't know how to build it but there you can see it Holt Arena it's actually pretty good sized you can see it from the freeway as you drive by So there's only three colleges, well, three major colleges in Idaho. And now only one FBS football program as University of Idaho moved down back down to FCS, first school to ever do that. No professional sports, major professional sports. They have a minor league hockey team, uh, some low minor baseball teams. Kind of a cool shot right here of the railroad going through town. And uh, I haven't looked into the history of Pocatello, but maybe it was the railroad or something that... The uh, town was built around, possibly, I don't know. I'm trying to think of reasons why it could have been built on that hillside. All right, so we're gonna put this plane back down in Pocatello, uh, grab the Cessna Citation, and then we're gonna head all the way up north to northern Idaho and check out Moscow and the University of Idaho Vandals. But hopefully with no wind and no weather to speak of, hopefully this will be a better landing here. All right, well, quite a bit better. So we put that down. We're going to grab the Cessna Citation now and take off and head north. We'll do an abbreviated version of our flight across the state over a whole bunch of mountain ranges. The entire middle of the state of Idaho above the Snake River Valley is nothing but mountains. So you can see we're leaving Pocatello go across all those mountains right there and we're gonna land in Lewiston Idaho which is right close to Moscow and uh, once again we're gonna do a live weather and ILS approach this time with the Cessna citation and then we'll jump up to Moscow and take a look at the Idaho vandals so here's our Citation, it's a new paint scheme and it's a crazy one, but we roll with it. So 
So it's a, again, it's another windy day in Pocatello. <laughs> it looked like it was about to push me off the runway. But we got the plane up. It's pretty dark clouds up here again. So the, once the western part of the United States is complete, there's probably going to be less, uh, well, there obviously will be less territory, or less, uh, yeah, territory between towns and between schools. So it might be a little bit faster as we head towards the east. But out here in the west, there's just such an expanse of land, and some of these cities are so far apart. that it just takes a while to get from place to place. So now we've got some clear skies. See all these mountain ranges in the center of the state of Idaho. And we're about 134 nautical miles from Lewiston. Lewiston was a cool city, I thought. I've never been there in real life, but I thought the the uh, layout of the city and the location of it was pretty cool from the looks of Flight Simulator anyway. Okay, we are 40 miles and beginning our descent into Lewiston, 27 nautical miles now. And continuing to descend, looks like it might be a little overcast over the city. See some clouds up there. And now we are a little further down and coming in and this was my first ILS approach with the citation so it was a experiment I guess All right, so we just flew over the top of the runway. <laughs> so we're going to declare a missed approach. Totally missed that. And we'll go around and give it another try. So now we've turned around, and there's the airport that we're going to be landing at down there. We just completely just blew over the top of it. So we got to go out and turn around and come back in. We move forward a little bit. Should be breaking through the clouds here. We'll see Lewiston out in front of us. At least the airport. Like I said, the location of Lewiston is pretty cool. On the Snake River. It's kind of built in a little valley on a bend of the Snake River. Still not in sight yet. And here we go. Airport up in some kind of rolling hills. First ILS approach in the Cessna Citation. Really cool terrain. It's 
kind of a fun approach up on this hill. City to the right, valley to the left. Yeah, we're not super lined up here. <laughs> Good thing it's a plenty long runway. Well, I'm not a pro. That's obvious at this point. We're down in Lewiston, grab a smaller plane and head up to Moscow. All right, so we're in the air with these, uh, I think we're back in the Cirrus. We'll get a good weather look at the city of Lewiston here. So it's just on this bend of the Snake River, kind of cool spot I thought right on the border of Washington and now we were are up on the Palouse heading towards Moscow Idaho it's just farmland a little elevated farmland. We'll get a couple of scenes of the farmland before we hit the city of Moscow. So I've got a cousin who played volleyball for University of Idaho back in the mid-90s, I think, mid to late 90s. I remember going to a couple of her volleyball matches when they were playing Idaho State down in Pocatello, close to where I grew up. Moscow, Idaho, home of the Idaho Vandals of the Big Sky Conference, formerly of the FBS and the WAC, and I think a year or two in the Sun Belt. And we're looking for the Kibbe Dome here. The Kibbe Dome, and I think they call it the Cowan Spectrum for basketball, but it's just inside the Kibbe Dome. They just partition things off and make it into a basketball arena. So the Kibbe Dome, to the right, the square building. It's really not square in real life. It's a round roof, but it, they built it square in this for some reason. So there's the Kibbe Dome. It looks absolutely nothing like that. But that's where it sits. And that's a little bit disappointing. Because the roof doesn't even look like that. But oh well. So Moscow, Idaho, and the Kibbe Dome. Now we're going to go over and land in... We're actually landing here in the state of Washington and it's uh, Pullman Moscow Regional Airport and from here we will take off and head down to Boise our last stop our last leg in the state of Idaho then after Idaho we'll head over into Oregon so we're gonna do three of the four states that I've lived in right in a row Utah Idaho and Oregon the only other state that I've lived in that we have not got to yet, but we will fairly soon, is the state of Minnesota. So we're going to do, we'll finish Idaho here, then we'll go to Oregon, up to Washington, over to Montana, over to North Dakota, and then over to Minnesota. So it's not too far away. Okay, so we're back in a Cessna Citation to go from Pullman, Moscow Regional, down to Boise. Idaho was just not, like, 
I didn't really know how to do Idaho. I thought about doing the University of Idaho along with the Washington schools because Washington State's right there, but then I just decided, you know, that would only leave Boise State and Idaho State. So I decided to go out of the way and catch University of Idaho, but it has caused there to be quite a few different flights in this episode. Which I apologize about, but hey, it keeps things interesting, I guess. Different flights, different planes. So we've got about seven minutes left in this episode. We take off from the Moscow area. We are heading about straight east. Now we've turned and we're heading pretty much due south. We'll try to get back down to Boise. And I think we'll speed up this. There's another look at Lewiston down there on that bend of the Snake River. And we're going to speed this up a little bit. So just so you can get an idea of how many mountain ranges there are through the middle of this state. Here they are. So we're heading to Boise. Speeded this up like 16 times the speed of a regular flight. And now we are into Boise. So that was quick. Heading straight south from Moscow. We have hit Boise. We've actually gone past Boise. We've circled around and now we're heading kind of northwest back towards the city of Boise. So there is Boise, home of the Boise State Broncos, pretty much Idaho's professional sports team. It's about the closest thing they have to a true pro sports team, major sports team. And we're going to come in and land here at Boise International Airport. Then we'll grab a small plane and go look at Bronco Stadium or Albertson Stadium as they call it now. And then we're actually going to do a grass runway landing in that plane. So the city of Boise off to the left of the airport, I-84 going alongside it right there. The Boise River, going to fly right over the Boise River here. And we touch down in Boise. Okay, so we've jumped back in this little Icon A5. And we're going to fly over the city of Boise, take a look at Albertson Stadium and Extra Mile Arena. And then we'll go land this thing on a grass runway up in the foothills above Boise. I believe that's the state capitol building off to the off to the left of our wing right there. That's that's just my guess, just judging by the the grounds around it. And uh, here is Albertson Stadium. And again, it looks like it's been smashed by an asteroid. So in all honesty, this Idaho episode, it's been a little bit disappointing venues-wise. 
because none of them have really looked the way they do in real life. And we haven't even been able to see the football fields of Idaho State or Idaho because they were in domes. But at least we can see the blue field here for Boise State. Would have been hilarious if Flight Simulator would have turned that blue field into like a lake or something just because it was blue. And then Extra Mile Arena is totally flattened. Like I don't understand that. It's that big white, it looks like a big white slab of concrete. But that's actually a building right there. That should be the roof of it. That's Extra Mile Arena. So super disappointing venues here in Idaho and hopefully Oregon will be better. It should be because Portland is definitely a... Uh, city that's in better detail than Boise. Circle around downtown here. Over the Boise River and the Greenbelt. And we just got a couple more minutes here. We're going to go land this thing up in the foothills up above Boise. And then we'll call it a day for Idaho. And next up will be Oregon. So this aircraft is actually pretty versatile. It'll land on this grass runway here. It also lands on water, which you'll see in a later episode. I think it's Minnesota that we will land this aircraft in a lake. But here we're going to land it on the grass. It's kind of an open field here. I guess the runway's right there, <laughs> so we landed off to the side of it. Oh well. We're good. Alright guys, that's it for Idaho. Up next we have Oregon. Hope you guys will continue to join me on this tour of the United States, checking out all the sports venues that we can find here on Microsoft Flight Simulator and Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.